Hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to talk about uh, an issue that some pool owners face, and that is that the total alkalinity keeps creeping up. All right, and, and seemingly without any effort on your part, you go check the alkalinity, you know, it's 80 to 100, right where it's supposed to be, and then you check it a week later and it's up to 120 or 130, 140, and you're just kind of perplexed, you're, you're confused, you don't know why this is happening. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to lower your alkalinity. I did make a video on that. You can go ahead and check that out. Uh, this is just kind of a troubleshooting guide um, to give you a little bit more information to put you on the right track. Uh, so let's say, for instance, so well, let's say your your total alkalinity keeps rising. You have it between 80, 80 to one hundred, and and you go back the next week, and maybe it rises as well. Um, chemicals and chemical readings don't just happen. Okay, um, some normally there has to be some kind of outside influence. It's similar to chlorine. I've I've answered this question on my website many many times that my chlorine level just keeps going up and I don't know why. Well, chlorine levels just don't go up. If anything, they're going to go down because of use in sun and heat. Uh, that chews up the chlorine very quickly. Also, lots of organic matter in the pool. That's going to chew up the chlorine as well. So, you, you have to be adding chlorine in order for the chlorine to rise. Um, the alkalinity just doesn't happen either high or low it doesn't happen there has to be some kind of outside influence and that's what I want to talk about first off maybe you're just using too much bicarb okay uh, to raise your total alkalinity and here's the chart that you need to raise your total alkalinity you want to use sodium bicarb and to raise it 10 parts per million per 10,000 gallons you use one and a quarter pounds uh, to raise it 20 parts per million per 10,000 you use um, uh, what is that? Two and a half pounds. So you double the adjustment, so double the amount of bicarb you use. Now, if you have a 20,000 gallon pool and you want to raise it 10 parts per million, well, you double the gallons, so you double the adjustment. So that would be uh, two and a half pounds. So I think that, that you understand this is your baseline right here. All right, this is your best friend. This is what you need to know. Um, so if you're fighting a high pH or high total alkalinity issue, go ahead and use this. Now, the next issue that people face could be um, just your fill water's high. Uh, I know that you know in in some places of the country, the fill the fill water can be 150 to even 250 parts per million for the alkalinity. Um, I had the opposite problem when I was a pool operator at the YMCA. The, the fill water was 30 parts per million. And I knew that through uh, splashing out of the water and then topping it back off again, I'm adding 30 parts per million total alkalinity. So if I have it at 100 and I keep adding 30 to it, it's slowly going to start to come down. Well, that could be your problem only in reverse. You could have it at 80 or 90 parts per million alkalinity, but if your fill water is 250, you're adding 250 to that pool constantly. Also, if it's a heavily used pool, you have a lot of splash out, and then you're filling it back up again, and you're topping it off with new fill water, that alkalinity is going to slowly start to increase. So you just really need to keep an eye on that. And it's very easy to do. You know, you can take your test kit and test the fill water alkalinity. Or, or if you don't want to go to that trouble, you can call your local water company and they have those, those readings, that in, information for you as well. You know, just, just talk to the receptionist uh, and then she'll, she'll uh, direct you to the right person that can give you that information. Um, again, this is not a tutorial on how to lower your alkalinity. I did make a video on that. Go ahead and check that. It's just to give you a little bit more information uh, about possibly why your total alkalinity could be uh, uh, increasing with really without knowing why. So go ahead and check those two. Uh, I'm Robert and this is Clean Pool and Spa. Be sure to check out my website in the description box, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. Like, subscribe, comment here, 
And as always, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.